We just arrived at the Athens Polytechnic where people have been gathering for three days now. Workers, unions, student unions, schools, families have come here to lay flowers down at the place where the gates of the university fell after the tank rode over them, killing many, many people. On November 17, 1973, a tank crashed through the entrance of the Athens Polytechnic University, killing many of the students that were clinging to the gates. The students had been protesting Greece's military junta, who had ruled the country since 1967. That night marked the downfall of their dictatorship. It also marked the beginning of the Greek anarchist movement. The closed the door of the Polytechnic from the tanks νομιμοποίησε την ανάδεξη όλων των ιδεών. Δεν ήταν μόνο ένα πολιτικό κίνημα, αλλά ήταν ταυτόχρονα ένα πολιτιστικό και πολιτισμικό κίνημα. To commemorate the uprising, every year, between the 15th and 17th of November, students, workers and anarchists from all over Greece take over the Athens Polytechnic. The celebration culminates in a mass protest that ends in exarchia, an artist neighborhood that is traditionally considered the spiritual home of the anarchist movement. Over the last few years, these demonstrations have taken on a deeper meaning, mostly due to the country's financial and social problems. So the gates of the university started closing and people started exiting the campus area. The festivities of the past three days are concluding and some of the people here will now start preparing for today's demo. In the past month, students all over the country started taking over their high schools and universities in order to protest a new round of educational measures that's basically going to make free education in this country harder to achieve. So it sounds like there's a lot of anger but then again, I can't really remember the last time there wasn't any anger in this country. Τι περιμένουμε σήμερα; Πώς τα βλέπεις τα πράγματα; Είναι μια πρώτη μια πρώτη επίδειξη ότι είναι μας κοντινή κινήματος απέναντι στην εξουσία το σημερινό. Και πιστεύω ότι αυτός ο αγώνας δυστυχώς για αυτούς δεν θα τελειώσει μόνο στο δρόμο, θα συνεχιστεί και στους και στους χώρους δουλειάς και στα πανεπιστήμια και στα σχολεία. Και πιστεύω ότι το ελευθεριακό μνέμα μπορεί να βρει εύκολα πάτημα και έκφραση μέσα από, αυτό, μέσα από αυτή την ιστορία. We're right in the middle of Sindagma Square right now. Police is behind me and it's really funny because they really like covered the whole square. The chants coming from the Black Bloc and the protests in general have like just started being uh, very aggressive towards police, as always. People are either saying cops and Nazis are the same thing, or solidarity is the weapon of the people. Things just started getting a bit more tense. People from the Black Bloc and protesters just started like throwing water bottles and other pieces of garbage at the police. Let's pam, 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 yeah, pam, before that. Suddenly, the police descended on the crowd, deploying tear gas and flashbangs, as well as indiscriminately hitting protesters. One of our crew was also attacked. Someone from the black block threw a water bottle at the police, and suddenly there was tear gas all over the place. Where's this? What happened to the year to Alexia, to our, uh, director? A riot policeman was um, pulling her hair, another one was kicking her. You can see basically the remains of the protest here. There's like shoes all over the place. The crowd began to make its way to Exarchia, an area the police normally stay out of. In previous years, the demonstration has ended here with minor classes between protesters and police. 
for the past 10 minutes the protesters were holding back and police was just waiting here and now it seems like people are coming uh, in full force. I don't know, maybe they're, they're looking to retaliate but suddenly the, the voices are even louder and people uh, are all wearing their gas masks and their hoodies. Τι μπορείς να περιγράψεις τη σημερινή πορεία καρέ καρέ πως την εσύ από που ξεκίνησε αν είδες κάποια επεισόδια που ήταν μια πορεία με πολύ κόσμο και πάλι μου πάρα πολύ κόσμο μεγάλη συμμετοχή και ανέπτυα σε κάποια φάση χτυπήθηκε χωρίς κανένα λόγο Πώς, είναι επειδή ήταν η ε, 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 πέτειος του Πολυτεχνείου, είναι ε, λόγω και των μαθητικών... Και λόγω και λόγω της κρίσης και λόγω του ότι υπάρχει αναταραχή στην κοινωνία, υπάρχουν πολλά προβλήματα, είδε ένας αγώνας διαρκείας. Ε. Δεν είναι κάτι που θα τελειώσει ούτε σήμερα ούτε αύριο. Νομίζω ότι όλο και μεγαλώνει και ότι όλο και περισσότερο κόσμο θα περνά στην αντιπερά όχι. Εσύ είχε πριν μαζί σου ένα λεστό. Γι' αυτό άμυνα. Αλλά τι με ρωτάς. Γι' αυτό άμυνα, γιατί είχαν να γίνει κάτι που μπορεί να δεχόμασταν επίθεση από ασφαλίτες, από τον δίποτε. As we entered the Exarchia, we realized that the police had completely surrounded the square, directly confronting the protesters. So the moment we turned into Exarchia, the moment we reached the square, we got in, uh, we found a small like turf battle going on between anarchists and riot police. Right now, as you can see behind me, there's police right behind me, in front of me, it's taking over the square completely. We're in the middle of what's supposed to be an anarchist turf, and the fact that they've moved in so into the, the neighborhood, I don't think would be great for morale. Τον άνθρωπο που δουλεύει ρε στο σοβαρή ρε! Σηκωθώντα καπέντετε! Άντε στο διάολο καμιόντε! Άντε στο διάολο καμιόντε! So behind me is a place that's run by anarchists for anarchists for the neighborhood. It's called Vox. Well, as soon as the tear gassing started, loads of uh, protesters ran inside Vox to get to find shelter. But obviously the fumes also got in the in the building. And right now there's riot police, as you can see, all over, and people are trapped inside. And from what I heard from some neighbors, people were yelling. Help, help, someone help us, because obviously they're being uh, suffocated by the fumes. The battle for Exarchia went on through the night. That same evening, the Minister of Public Order, Vasilis Kikilias, visited the Athens Police Headquarters to congratulate the police on a job well done. The level of police brutality seems to mark a shift in the way the Greek government is handling civil disobedience. With the state having made their stance clear, it will be interesting to see how the anarchist movement retaliates.